What's up guys? Welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host of course, and as you can see here, we have a new iOS update which is iOS 15 developer beta 6 and we are going to be covering this update without wasting a lot of time now for me on my iphone that you are seeing here this is the iphone x i've already updated my device but i would like to show you that initially when i tried to update i got it as ios 15.0 and that was the time when it was just rolling out and after some times and after i refreshed the page it came back as ios 15 developer beta 6 now obviously this is not all that apple released today if we go to the apple developer website look at some other updates that were released today so ios 15 beta 6 obvious this is the video for this alongside that ipad os 15 beta 6 and tvOS 15 beta 6 and later on this update actually came like two hours or three hours later which is watchOS 8 beta 6 all these updates are available to developer beta testers only public beta testers probably tomorrow but for watchOS 8 public beta it's a bit tricky since even the public beta of beta 5 isn't out so for watchOS I'll do a separate video when I cover watchOS 8 beta 6 now if we go to the about this watch section you can see it's up to date and if we go to uh, see the software version you can see the new build number that we have here and it's 19a 5325f so now the build number that we have on beta 6 ends with an f and this is actually exactly the same uh letter as what we had on beta 5 since beta 5 actually had 19a 5318f so f build and uh, on beta 5 f build but something that was changed in terms of the software is the modern firmware version so as you can see here the modern firmware version that we have is 5.00.00 and this has been updated before on beta 5 it was 4.50 dot zero two so hopefully if we are having any issues that have to do with uh cell wi-fi bluetooth or so on then those issues should be resolved now when it comes to the new features and changes that are introduced with what ios 15 beta 6 there's quite a few and the main one that i would like to show you has to do with safari of course so a lot of people have been getting mixed reactions when it comes to safari because you see where the address bar has been it's it's it went from the top of the screen to uh, just in the middle of the screen right there but with ios 15 beta 6 apple aims at resolving those issues or at giving you the option to be able to change that so basically the way you change that you can hold on to the text like this so if you click on the text you can see where you can um, put the show top address bar and as you can see the address bar went right to the top and if we click there again you can say show on the bottom and you will see that the address bar goes to the bottom so that is something that you can see and then also they've added more options here you can see your privacy report you can see website settings you can request desktop websites and you can also hide two bars so that is something that's new and then also something that has been changed if you see these options like to see the tabs that you have open and also your history or bookmarks or your share these have been separated from this uh, address bar before they were sort of cramped in there but as you can see on ios 15 beta 6 these have been separated that is something that's good and another thing that i would like to show you is if you uh, 3d touch or force touch there you can see that you have the options to copy you have voice search and also move to group if we go into the settings and go to safari and safari is right here and go to uh where it says uh tabs you can see there so you see that we have like a single tab if you just want to see like if you have met a single tab open and you just want to see that you can do that but if you want to show tab bar to be able to see like many tab bars then you can see that if you use the game center widgets you can see uh, friends that are playing and also add friends to see what they are playing so you can always uh, have these emojis now you can see that they've added a little bit of more uh, 
images and also foreground changes when it comes to this game center widget which is something that's good and unfortunately when it comes to share play uh you can see that alongside these apple also released share play development profile but share play has been disabled for use in the developer beta 6 versions of ios 15 ipad os 15 and tv os 15 and disabled in the upcoming beta 6 of mac os 12 so share play has been disabled but if you want to go ahead and continue testing and developing for it you can see that you can install the profile and be able to use share play but as of ios 15 beta 6 it has been disabled if you go to your accessibility and then you go to touch and then click where it says assistive touch you will see that you now have this option where it says use game controller and it says allow assistive touch to be controlled by game controllers so now in addition to other devices and peripheral devices that you can use for game controls you can also use assistive touch to be able to be controlled by games or controller so that is something that's new with this update you can always turn it off and then also you can uh, change the tracking sensitivity here but basically those are all the new features and changes that came with ios 15 beta 6 let me know if you're going to be updating in the comment section below but other than that there is still quite a number of issues that are here when it comes to ios 15 beta 6 there's about 32 known issues and quite a very few few resolved issues so it's still a little bit buggy and when it comes to something that's positive about this update finally apple has moved on to weekly release cycles when it comes to ios 15 updates so most probably when it comes to ios 15 beta 7 we're going to see it somewhere around maybe the 24th of this month and a week after that we'll be getting beta 8 and so on and if that continues with weekly release cycles then most probably we'll see the final beta or the release candidate version of ios 15 somewhere mid september and you know the final release may be later on that month now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to ios 15 let me know whether you're going to be updating in the comment section below and stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video very soon peace